Hello, this is Ardly Worth Watching. Welcome back. Hope you've uh, all had a good week. So today I'm back with another tutorial, and today I'm going to be showing you how to build a cool little medieval watermill. So uh, I'm actually sorry I haven't uploaded for a while. I haven't just been really busy. So uh, with that all said, let's get straight into it. So first, I'm going to show you what you actually need. So basically you just need the contents of this chest. So this is more intended for creative builders and creative mode. So I'm not going to say how much you need. If you want to do that you have to work out yourself. So you'll need oak wood slabs, spruce wood planks, some spruce wood stone, stone bricks, some oak wood planks, some cobblestone slabs, oak wood, oak wood stairs, white wall, cobblestone stairs, uh, some polished diorite, some cobblestone. <coughs> some dark oak fence and a dark oak door so you just want to go ahead and grab all this stuff unless you want to change the materials to your own liking which is perfectly fine so uh, we are going to start with uh, the stone so you want to start around here so you do want to build this next to some water or you could add the water afterwards so just start on the corner just probably a few blocks away from your water is to make sure the wheel is going to be in the middle. We start here by just placing a block of stone. And what we'll do is go 17 blocks this way. So count this as number one. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. So that's 17 blocks. Now you want to go to here and just do the same in the other direction. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, like that. Then go to this corner. This time you want to go 23 blocks. So start with this one. So this one is number one. So 1, 2, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, like that. Now from here we want to go 11 blocks, so it's going to be 1, 2, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, like this. And once we get to here, you want to go this way, so towards the inside, by 6, so this is number 1. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Then from here, can we see where this block ends, you just want to go across here and basically connect them up, so it should look something like that so the next thing you want to do is you want to get some uh, stone bricks and you want to start building some pillars around the outside so uh, I would start with this corner so here got one out this way and one back and here you want to go five up so one two four five and we need to count five blocks and do another one so one two three four five so here so we can go one two three four five then if it goes under the water you just want to carry it on underneath and keep going like this all the way around so one two three four five like this there we go so one two three four five so there's always five in between the next one will be just after this corner so one two three four five that one's end up a bit longer and so another five here so one two three four five so then five up so one two three four five this is pretty much exactly the same all the way around this is so five blocks in between each one and they're all five high so one two three four five and after the corner as well so one two three four five same again so one two three four five and here Two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. And then here, one, two, three, four, five. So you just want to carry on like this all the way around, pretty much. Five there. Then after the corner, you want another five. So one, two, three, four, five. Like that. Then here we want to do the same again. So one two three four five then also in this corner just here 
like that. Then what you want to do is you want to move back to your stone and we're just going to build the whole thing up all the way to the top of where these pillars are. So as you can see we are just going to keep going up like this and just do this all the way around. So it will be all the way to the top, all the way around. So you just follow the blocks around here and just do that all the way up and just follow the pattern. Now what we're going to want to do, we're going to want to come around to the longest side, so this bit at the back here, and you're going to need to get your coral stone to start with. So what you want to do is have cobblestone here on the inside of this pillar and then on each pillar you want to put one on each side so it's almost going to be like a T shape and you want to do this the majority of the way around the build so even here one on each side so there's one cobblestone on each side of here so you want to do this all the way around I think it's all the way till well, the corner bit just there where it goes in and there's another two they're basically two for each each pillar has two cobblestone connected to it there we go and this one this wall here you want to leave clear because nothing is going to need to go there now you want to get some cobblestone stairs and you want to come underneath these bits and make sure you click just up like that and underneath each side you want to go and just place some cobblestone stairs so here as well so underneath some upside down cobblestone stairs then on the top of each of these let's go one two three and connect it up into an archway like that and these are all going to be the same so cobblestone stairs there and there and then we need to get these going across just like that and then on the same just here these are all pretty much the same but there is a couple of a uh, variations within the thing so now you want to come back round to uh, this side just here and then we want to do the same with the top so there we go like that cobblestone going across here to go upside down stairs in each one then some cobblestone going across and here you want to do exactly the same so it's, it's going to be the same in all of these pretty much then uh, where this one is different you're going to want to get some cobblestone slabs and put them all the way underneath here so going all the way along just like that so it kind of seals off a bit and you want some oak wood stairs to place these upside down so in the middle so centrally to everything else like that, just one upside down in each one. And that just adds a bit of detail. You want to come around to this side, and this side is pretty much exactly the same as the far side, in the way that you just need to keep on placing these upside down stairs and cobblestone to create an arched effect. It's pretty much exactly the same. Well, it is, apart from just one bit in the middle. So you want to come into the middle here and find the middle block, one up from here and break two blocks and two on each side of this. So we've got a two by three space and then fill that with some cobblestone there. Then you want to come over to here and these two sides are going to be the same. So these are going to have the archways with the upside down stairs and the cobblestones going across. Like this and we want to use the slabs on this one as well just around this inside corner like that you don't want, need to do it anywhere else then uh, you're going to want to do the same as what we've just done so with the cobblestone over there so break two and two on this side two on this side so you end up with a two by three rectangle and you want to go and do the same thing on the other side as well you want to go behind here and with some polished DIY, you just want to go one up here on top of that and then just fill in the gap behind the square you've 
made and then here can be exactly the same thing so just put the polished deer right behind the hole you've made so make sure you don't fill the hole in and come to here and put cobblestone on the front side of each one of them so uh, now for this bit you want to get stone bricks again you want to go two in on this side and then go up all the way to the top like that come over here two wins and then five up again like that and here to do two blocks up so one two and just on top of there place your slab and place another slab just one little step higher the same one here so two blocks on top of the two blocks and this one is a little bit higher than that and then here this will be lower and that will have two like this two like that with one on the top and then we'll break space here and you can add a door of your choice like that and then uh, in this bit we want to uh, go ahead and just add another arch like how we were doing it before so the same way of you've been doing it with the other bits like that and you want to add a piece of cobblestone on top of here like that and we are almost done for the stage so you just want to go around the top and place cobblestone on top of all of these pillars so on top of every one you need to place a cobblestone all the way around this is so every single pillar will need some cobblestone on top of it what you want to do is get your spruce wood actually we need one on there basically connect these almost like a dot to dot so there to there and make sure the grain of the wood across here is facing the same way else it won't look so good so to go all the way around connecting all of these together it's actually quite simple now, overall this build is actually pretty simple so you want to keep going all the way around Just connect them all up, it is a very simple task. And there we go, we are nearly there. Like that, and then here you want to do the same. So going across like that, and like that. Then to finish off, you want some upside down stairs on the edges of where these cobblestones are. So all the way around and add all these and on the corners it will be two like that and every one of these will need an upside down stair as well so the bit around here is where the balcony is going to be it's going to be slightly different so uh, we the same on here upside down and this pillar on the corner you want to put one here but underneath at that level and oh yeah, this one will be the same actually these ones will be just like that and that is uh, this part actually finished for the next bit we're going to want to grab some more spruce wood and on each of these here we're going to want to go up by five so one two three four five like that so each one is going to go up by five so this will actually go on uh, all the way around until well, until we've done all of them. Now that you've done that, you want to start to work on the balcony. So to this corner, we've got the stairs at different levels. You want to come here and you want to go about seven out. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, like that. Then here, we want to go out by five. So one, two, three, four, five and five here as well so sorry about the steps here i did have to remove them i actually a slight mistake there you don't need steps just there so that's five there like that here we just want to place them at one extra piece the one coming out the side of it break this one make sure that one's going sideways and then this wants to keep going all the way across up to here to connect and then one out one extra out just like that just here where this ends you want to go in like that 
So it should look something like this. And what you want to do is get your dark oak fence or any fence and just go from this corner down right to the bottom. And the same just here as well with this joins, it will almost look like a T shape here. And then this bit you need to go in by about one or two. So one, two, then this will go down from there all the way to the floor. Then you want to grab some spruce wood planks and you just want to fill the space in just here. And once you've done that you want to come here and you want to place four spruce going across like this. And you want to go one here, one underneath it and then break that and place four more just here. And same again. So you just want to actually build up some steps. So you just want to carry on that same process until it goes all the way to the ground. It's pretty simple. Just like that. And then you want to grab your dark oak fence again and actually just go around this area like this and just put a nice fence on just to make a bit of a barrier. That should go like that. Then this bit from here to here should also have some fence as well. So next thing you need is your white wool. You want to get this and you want to just build a big square here pretty much. So you want to go up all the way to the top of where this is and add another one. So it should be six up all together like that and then join these up and then on the tops of these all of these will actually need some oak wood stairs so basically the opposite of what's on the top and you'll get your oak wood so this is normal like oak wood that you've mined from a tree you go three across like this and three across on the top and then two down on either side and then you want to repeat these for the next two. When you go over here it is going to be pretty much the same thing. So we'll start with the, the stairs on the top. So you want to go around and uh, put all these stairs in the right place just on the top. So uh, this side then you want to get your white wool again you want to build a square so once you put the stairs on this will actually go all the way to the top of where these stairs are like that and go across and you want to do the same thing with your oak wood so three going across three going across this way so going from left to right there we go like that so uh, this one will be slightly different this middle one so you want to go all the way across and up here when you get to the top you want to place block here and place one behind and delete that one go up by one and go all the way across and with one going down like that then what you're going to want to do is place some oak here and place some going out of it to the side delete this one have two like that and then in this space you want to go one two three so until it touches that top bit of wall and one two three like this and then you want to do three in the top just like that so this window is slightly different design you want to come over to here and do this the same as the other side that's quite simple really and the same with this window then you want to move around to here and from here you want to go six blocks up with the wall then in the middle you want to go six blocks up again then you want to go six blocks up again here and then you want to get some spruce wood and do the same in these gaps go six up like that and you want to go over to this side you want to do the same thing so at the edges 
five up with wall, six even. So six up with wall on each side, and then up with wall again. Then this will be exactly the same. Six up with wood at like this. And remember to put all your stairs on here. And these two windows will be exactly the same as the rest of them. Uh, now we just need to go around here and just finish these off. So this is going to have stairs on like that. Then here you want to kind of build up with wood like this up to the same level and put one extra. You want to get some white wool and here you're going to want to build two windows the same as you have done in all the previous ones. So build all the way around the edge like that around the perimeter of it pretty much to the top of these stairs and then build across like that. In the bottom you want your oak going across and also in the top as well you want the oak going across and from top to bottom place another two in each window the same as you have been doing for the other ones then uh, here we'll go over here and then here we want to get the spruce wood which will go all the way over and one more like that this is going to be the same so to go all the way around, be one above here, like that, and then in here to go three oak wood, three oak wood here, and then two there, and then two there. And this one's going to be a little bit different because it's going to be where your door is. It's one there, and the three here. You want to build this tied up with three. All the way up to the same height as the other ones are like that and then this go one two up and two blocks up and the third one it will be broken like that and then we'll go all the way around like that you want to place some spruce wood there and there to finish it off then you want to grab yourself a door and put that in just there now what i want to do is uh start going on to the next layer so what you want to do is maybe place the spruce here then one there going that way and then break it off and then here you'll go all the way across so this will cover the whole building and you need to go all the way around there we go once that stops you want to carry on the other way and you want to carry on like this the whole way around there we go now so you need to go this way so the whole top of the building will have this wood going over the top. Now let's get to this side, turn again. There we go, turn again. Turn again. And that will finish like that. You see, that part is actually pretty quick. So now we want to go onto the bits for the roof. So you want to come over to this side, just here. And here you want to start by putting two pieces of stone going up and then on the other side, starting with two. Then you want to go in by one and one, so one, two, like that. And this next one needs to be uh, two again, like that. Then we'll go one, two, three, like that. And the same on the other side. So you want to go two ones that step up by one, one that steps up by two, and three of these, so one, two, three, like that, and here, go okay, one up on each side again, and put one in, so two in and two in, like that, and the top will finish, like that. I want to go over to here, and do the same thing, so I'll show you again, two blocks going up, and another two steps of one then two again like that and then one two three so basically the process is you place a block place another one place this one and delete the one underneath like that then here 
we'll go n by two, not by one. Then you just need to find this area here. So make sure it lines up. Put the crosshair here. It lines up. You want to go two here. And going up and going up. Then two again. Then uh, three steps of one. And this will go in by two and finish that off just like that and now for this little bit of the roof in front it's going to start with one block on each side so you sure you've got a space of one can you see here so it needs to be inset by one like that and then it will go up by two on either side like that then it's pretty much just blocks of one going up so one two three four like this and then from here pretty much the same thing so one two three yep like that so can you see we have a nice even roof there well for the roof you can actually pretty much do anything you want really there's not that much to it we just want to come around here now and uh, well, you can use any material for the start but really I'll actually no well oak would probably look the best that's what I would advise to use so you want to start here just at this corner and with oak wood oak wood planks and you want to go all the way from one side to the other like that then you want to do the same again across like this and that is that part of the roof and with any block you can use for this but you just need to get it and go all the way across so just in line with where the wood is I'm just going to use cobblestone you can actually delete this after then all the way across you need to keep doing exactly the same thing so basically the cobblestone should always be in line with the stone what you want to do is all the way up to the top so sorry about this just to point out to you this bit here where the two blocks are you don't actually need them so you can actually go ahead and delete all of these if you have actually placed them there sorry I made a bit of a mistake there there we go so now you've got to this stage we can actually start building up the roof so this bit here you want to get oak wood stairs and go all the way across like this one side to the other and you just want to actually keep layering this up it's quite a simple process now we have all the framework actually done then this bit here you want to go two up with oak and then you want to do this all the way across to the other side it's quite a simple process but it does require a little bit of patience as it well it's a bit repetitive and you can get a bit tiring after a while then this bit we want stairs going all the way across just make sure your crosshair is on the bottom of these blocks else your stairs will end up being upside down and go from one side to the other again with the uh, oak wood plank steps or just oak wood steps be okay keep going across so this is quite repetitive but I'm just trying to lay them down quite quickly just to give you a bit of an idea about what is actually involved I'm only going to show you the one side, I will probably just show you the other side but sped up because there's no need for me to do this all live on camera because it just wouldn't, wouldn't be any point. So go two here like that, as you guessed it, this will go all the way across to the other side exactly the same way. So it's basically just about layering it up or you get the framework built and then you can begin layering up. You see? look something like that now for the smaller roof you want to do a uh, kind of a similar thing so here with oak wood you need to go across just to this bit here like that then with whatever block you've got you can go like this so here and here doesn't need anything and then to the next one 
be cobblestone so just do it just up to the end just here and you want to do that with all these blocks so in line with the stone should be the cobblestone like that and yeah we can leave that bit like that so then you want to go and get your oak wood stairs again and put them going across we I think actually what you want to do is go back onto here and do these oak wood stairs just on there like that and then on this bit you have oak going up so two oak in each one there we go and then this bit is going to want to have your stairs going across then you just want to build it all up with stairs you can probably tell it's a while since I have done the tour so I have made it quite a few mistakes so I'm really sorry about that so that is actually how you do the roof I will just quickly time lapse the rest for you then I'll show you how to finish it off So we really haven't got a lot to do now, just kind of finishing off. So first you want to come to this front side where the balcony is and find this middle piece of wood here and just connect that and that together like that. And then you should fill this area in with white wool very quickly. Like this. Fill it all in. Now we have actually got a missing piece of wood there. Like this. Then you want to come to the inside. And this way you can see the spruce going along to the middle. You want to have to carry this on on the inside. Like that. So there you connect. Then find where this bar is here and find this place on this one it's just there and then you want to keep going up here all the way to till we get to the top and just here in the corner you want to do the same thing so bring the spruce wood up all the way to the top just like that and about four up you want to go here so one three four so on the fifth one then you want to connect these all up again but higher this time the same just here then you want to go ahead and fill all these in with wool like I just did on the last one so fill in all the gaps make sure you don't leave any gaps like I have actually done on well quite a few times now probably isn't one of my best tutorials but just have to see how it goes it's not the worst so you want to keep filling all these in we go and then fill this area in and then this area as well I don't know if I might perhaps do another part on an interior for this building but I haven't actually designed an interior to this minute but if that's something you would like you can just uh, comment and I'll be happy to do another tutorial showing you the interiors so where we've got these posts here you want to take the spruce wood all the way to the top like that and the same here go all the way up to the top like that and you want to go up by about four so one two three four on the fifth one just here you want to join these all together just in the air like that and the same as all the other ones you just want to go ahead and fill this all in so uh, now it's the part that you've all been waiting for the main feature I'm going to be showing you how to build the water wheel 
which is actually quite simple as well. So start just here, as cobblestone is, and you want to go out by five blocks. So one, two, three, four, five, like this. On top of this, you want to go one, two, three, four, and delete these other blocks that are in between like that. And you want two on each side of this. So you've got five, you want to come behind here, and place one there, one there, delete the middle one, and these two just need to mirror each other, so this will go five as well. And place one here, one underneath, and delete that one. And the same on the other side, the same on all the sides actually. Like this. You want to go out one again, then this is going to be five down, so one, two, three, four, five. So you do count the one that was already there as your first block. And the same here as well. So one, two, three, four, five. And then the same here will be like going one in and one in again. Like this. On this side will be the same. So you want to go out and five down. So one, two, four, five. It can be a little bit harder to see sometimes because of the water, but it doesn't make a massive difference. So make sure it's up to five, one, two, four, five. Yes, that is correct. So this one is wrong, and you want to go in by one on each side. Then this area touching the floor, you should just connect these up to finish the underneath of the wheel. I don't know how you can see that on the camera. So you should be left with something like this. You want to get some spruce wood. To make the spoke, so go to the middle of here, so one, two, three, up, then three up, just here. And you want to do this in all directions, so one to the right and the left. So just connect it basically, just connect what you can see, so it goes from the middle into the middle of that one. And this one should be the same. So it's basically just like a big cross on each side, it's not really a much more simple way of putting it. So you should be left with something like this. And you want to come to this bit here. And then put some oak wood going all the way around so basically fill in the gaps. It's quite nice if you keep all the wood going the same way around. It does create quite a nice effect. So make sure all of these are facing the same way. Then you see all the green of the wood is will be going the same way. Like one here and then one, two here. And this bit is a little bit different because it's where the water's going to be. So you want to get some oak wood planks. Then can you see one down from here on the spoke to go down and then place three to fill in the gap like that. And something that I didn't actually include in the materials but it's not really part of the build, is the water, so you want to put the water in, like that. And there we go, look at that and just watch it flow down. And that is your water mill finished. So I uh, really hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. I hope you've uh, enjoyed building this and I hope uh, you found this helpful. So uh, please remember to leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed. And uh, I'll see you soon with uh, another tutorial. Oh yeah, and just about, if you want to see the interior, you can comment to see that. So uh, goodbye, and I'll see you in the next one.